Hey, what's up, Reefers? Time for a quick update on the 45 gallon cube tank. I want to talk about new additions, changes to the aquascape, and then something that I want to sell. So, two days ago, my good friend Hunter um, he posted to our little reef chat group saying that somebody local to me is selling things off from his reef tank. And we thought about swinging by over the weekend to check it out. But I know that by then, most things will probably be gone. So I offered to go check it out first and pick up things for the group if there's something that they want. So I went that same day and I was probably the second or third guy there. So I was able to pick up some stuff. So let's take a look. Uh, my main target this time was SPS because my tank is pretty full already and I want to try some SPS out. So let's actually go right down to the list. First thing I picked up, and please correct me if I'm wrong because I'm total noob when it comes to SPS. Uh, that is the pink styro. And I was talking to the, to the person, to the seller, about some easier to keep SPS to try out. And he recommended this. And sure enough, it likes the tank. And the polyp was extended pretty much a couple minutes after this coral went into the tank. So that's, that's good news. And I do like the shape of it, like the growth formations. Now sliding down, we have a tricolor belly acro, I believe. And the skin is purple, polyp is green, and the polyp is partially extended. So I think so far it is doing okay. He thinks the tank is not killing him yet. Now let's swing around and talk about something that I'm really excited about. And it is the, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. It is the yellow Fiji letter. It is touching the Ricodia right now that it is not supposed to, probably because something knocked the frag down. So I'm going to fix that after this video. Um, currently the polyp is not extended, but it was, half, it was halfway extended a little bit earlier, so I think it is slowly adjusting to the tank, which is great. And sliding over here, we have two frags of SPS. The one in the front, I believe, uh, is a purple uh, millipora. I'm probably like butchering all the, all the pronunciation. And the one in the back is supposed to be a red tabling SPS of some sort that's supposed to look really good. Uh, but obviously it is a little bit bleached, actually really bleached. And it is actually in the process of recovering in his display tank because he moved tank. And I saw polyp extending a little bit from it, so it is, it is not dead, it's just really unhappy. So hopefully that with time, it will come back nice and good. Swinging around, it's kind of hard to see right now, but we have a big polyp of Redactus right here. Let me see if I can point to it right there. Uh, we have a big polyp of Redactus and then a baby one right on top of it. And these actually look great. Uh, I got like orange rims and details with uh, blue flesh. Oh, one thing to mention. Uh, you may notice that the tank looks pretty white today. That's because the light was shutting off and it became really blue, really hard to film. So I just kind of turned the white back on and I figured I'll give the tank a different look than the traditional blue that I tend to film in. Uh, just so that we can see cut the corals in a different spectrum of color just to see how they look. So to cap off all the new addition, you guys may be eyeing this already. Uh, yes, he was selling a starfish and he had this starfish for two or three months. I was a little bit hesitant because um, I hear starfish is really difficult, so I've never attempted them. And he, I asked, so I asked him, asked him for his advice. He has a really great tank. Tank has been up for a year and a half, and he he had been in the hobby for a while. And he mentioned that. Normally, Linkia starfish is a lot more difficult. These type of starfish are a lot easier and it should do okay in a 45 gallon. So I'm like, okay, well, let me uh, take it home too and give him a try. So there's a little starfish right there. All right, so those are all the new additions. And Julie, Ju Julian and Hunter, if you guys are watching this, you can pick any of the SPS that I have and uh, just take it home and give it a try and see if we have any luck with them. So now let's talk about aquascape changes. So I think the most obvious difference is that instead of three bubble tip anatomy, now I have one. 
and, and man, it was a bear to try to get them to detach from the rock. Actually, the one, the clone of this one that was up here, that, that was okay. It was, I caught him moving around. It was kind of like moving, he's trying to like swing around here for some reason. So part of the fruit is kind of inflated and easy to peel off the rock. So I did just that. I was able to get him off probably within like three minutes. So that was no problem. But the one that was here, the um, neon orange slash rainbow one, that was difficult. I was struggling with him for, I, was, I think like 20, 25 minutes. Um, I was blowing, I actually blew the power head towards his foot for a good half a day. And it still refused to budge. It, the foot lifted a little bit, but I used that chance to kind of slowly peel the foot off. And I was able to remove the anatomy without harming his foot at all. And now it's in the sump. And I'll actually talk about them a little bit later because I do want to sell one of them. So the second big change in terms of Waco Scrape is that two videos ago I fracked up this big piece of uh, frog spine colony into multiple pieces and I kind of move things around a little bit. So instead of one big chunk, now I have uh, three big chunks or one big chunk and two little chunks. It's, I like the fact that this little piece is up here so it's not all bare rock so I think that's a good move. But I feel like it's a little bit, still a little bit too much, so I may frag it up a little bit more. And I would like a little bit more shape here, so I may kind of frag a little, little something here and here as well. So we'll see. So it's slowly getting there. But uh, I feel like this is an improvement compared to before, where it's just one big blob. that It makes the tank look really short. I think this way it kind of lengthened the, the tank and continued, um, I guess, the, the shape of the rock. And speaking of uh, frog spawn frags, I sold off one frag of the green tip and one frag of the purple tip and I met some of you guys. Uh, Jeff and Alex Mumbai, great people, you know, awesome kids. And also John and his girlfriend, sorry I forgot the girlfriend's name, but also really great people, fantastic nano tank. And I'm just really happy to meet some of the people that I, I interact with online. Just put a face to the name. And they're all fantastic, great people with great knowledge, also a uh, great passion. Uh, so really happy to meet you guys and hope the frags are doing well in your tank. Uh, some other big change, well not quite a big change, but actually it is a big change. <laughs> the, I freed up this platform, this little ledge right here uh, from the rainbow or the orange bubble tip anatomy. So now I can experiment with this base. So I want to really put a lot of SPS here. Well, not a lot, but I want to put some SPS here to make sure that SPS can survive and can thrive in this tank. So that's what um, th those guys are doing here. And you notice that I actually moved the bird's nest out into the open now. It was kind of on the other side in shade. But I figure it has acc acclimated and that would make a better spot for it. Especially after it grows, uh, it may look interesting in the back. <coughs> And you also notice that I moved the Xenia to the front. And you must say, are you crazy moving Xenia so close to SPS? But in my past experience with Xenia, they have a tendency to grow towards the light. So I think they're gonna grow upwards first on this little rock that I have them on. And if they start growing out of control, I can easily pull them out and frack them up, so no problem. And the reason I keep the Xenia up front instead of SPS is because of the Walled hammer. Look at how crazy the sweepers are. So I would not trust an SPS on that ledge. The Xenia can probably take the hit and they roll back fast. So I kind of leave it right there. <coughs> but the hammer is really taking up a lot of real estate. So I'm not quite sure what I want to do with him yet. Just look at how crazy the sweepers are. And also because of the sweeper, I kind of relocated the elegance coral all the way to the back corner. It is doing well. It likes this corner. I made sure to keep it in a low flow area. And the part of it that got stung before by the hammer is completely healed and the tentacle is starting to get long again um, on that edge. So that's a good sign. So it is happy over there. So until I figure out what's going on with him, I'm gonna just keep him there. And that is pretty much it for the Aquascape update. Now let's talk about what I want to sell. And I got that little guy in the sump. So as you know, I removed the two bubble tip anemones. One is the um, rose bubble tip anemone on the left hand side. And I like this more because 
I actually kept a few different Rose Blood Ultimate Enemy in this tank, but this is the only one that retained that really brilliant red. The other one just dulled out or become a really dark red. But this one stayed bright, and you can check my previous videos. Uh, I mean, I've had this guy for more than half a year now, and it's just like a nice bright red, so I really like it. But I don't need more than one, so I'm looking to sell this guy for $50. If there's anybody local interested, let me know. Tyrone. <laughs> uh, and then right next to it, I do have that orange slash like rainbow bubble of anatomy as well. It does not look nice in my LED light, which is a shame. Because when I went over to the seller's place, I won this, actually I won this guy in auction. Uh, the seller, Supreme Reef, he has amazing, amazing high-end corals. And he ships, so he does a, he see a lot of things. He said that this is one of the nicest bubble of anatomy. Let me get it back in focus. It's one of the nicest public of anatomy that he has seen. And he has seen a lot. And when I went over to his house, although the, <laughs> to be honest, the anatomy did not quite have the same color as the picture. In picture, it's a bright yellow. But when I see it in person under T5 lights, it's a bright orange. It's different, but it's still nice. Unfortunately, after it goes into my tank, it did not look as vibrant under my light. Um, and then slowly it kind of dulled out, but I think the potential is there. The reason I know is because of this little guy. So I have a UV light, turn this off, that I use occasionally to check how fluorescent a, a certain corals could be. And okay, I just turn off this refugium light and I'll use the UV and you see with the proper lighting old glow and I remember seeing something like this in his tank uh, not so much green but it's more like the orange you see at the tip right now the whole body is all orange it's ridiculously looking so I do believe um, there's still potential in this bubble to anatomy except my light setting is not quite dialed in or maybe I just need T5 I don't know or maybe I just need a <laughs> like a black light but I do want to keep that guy just to kind of experiment a little bit to see um, if there's any way I can set my radion up to kind of give up that kind of effect. So that is pretty much for the updates. Um, lots of new SPS and interesting coral that I'm really excited about. Uh, I have a little, I actually have a little area dedicated to SPS and more experimental corals now, which I'm really happy about. Uh, probably still need to frog, uh, frag back the frog spawn a little bit, as well as the Gorgonian a little bit. Uh, it has been great meeting some of you guys in person. And the starfish should be interesting too. This would be a new challenge for me. Also, oh, I also pick up some snails from the tank breakdown, so that's great. I mean, always need snails. And lastly, I do have a most of the that I'm looking to sell for $50. And I have not decided to sell the, um, the rainbow or the orange over to an enemy yet. I'm gonna play with the color a little bit just, just for experiment before um, I decide whether or not I sell them. So that's it for this quick update. That is not too quick. <laughs> uh, and I guess, I'll, oh, oh, actually, one more thing, one more thing. Uh, any of you guys going to the New Jersey Reptile and Reef uh, trade show this coming Saturday? If so, let me know. I'm thinking about going, but not 100% yet. Just want to see if any of you guys will be there. If so, drop a line. Let me know. All right, guys. I will talk to you guys later.